And people who have money, man, when you have money, you can, man. And how she was pretty much the PIMP, okay? A uh, man who develops a very obsessive connection to his son's girlfriend. Negan, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That sorrow, sorrows, prayers, prayers, sorrows, sorrows, sorrows. You can see that they're not speaking in English, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. It's sarcastic, it's dark, it's punchy, it's just excellent. Her mission in life is to get them all back one by one, one by one. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is I, it is just Katleo. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for constantly supporting, choosing me over and over again. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. It really does go a long way. Also, please do remember to watch the ads as you are watching this video. It really does help me out so, so much. Now, I'm really, really excited about this video because these are videos that I've done before. If you've been following me for quite a while, you will know that I am a big, 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 big fan of Netflix. I'm huge. I'm huge. I'm a huge fan of Netflix. I use Netflix for my downtime to relax, to watch something, to learn some things as well because I love documentaries on, on Netflix as well, that kind of thing. And uh, I love to share my recommendations. I actually get asked what to watch in my DMs quite a lot. I just never say it, but I get asked, what, what are you currently watching? Can you recommend something? And when I don't know what to watch, I'll always put it up on Instagram or I'll put it up on Twitter and say, guys, can you recommend something that I could watch? So I haven't done one of these in a while and I'm gonna do one now. So, so excited. I'm going to give you some of my favorite shows that I've really, really enjoyed on Netflix in a while. I do stream other platforms, but I watch Netflix the most. So I wanted to share with you what I'm watching so that you, you yourself, can go check some of these out. So they're in no particular order. There's no movies. There's no this, there's no this. I'm giving you the name and I'm going to give you a brief synopsis and we're going to get on with it. Okay, let's do that. Let's get into the video. The first one is a K-drama. Now, I, there was a point in my life where I loved K-dramas, okay? That was all I would watch. I mean, World of the Married, listen, too many things, crash landing on you, too many things. Watched all of them and then I stopped for a really long time because the ones that I would come across, uh, they really didn't entertain me that much. But recently, I started watching The Glory. Whoa! <laughs> that K-drama is super. Herb. And I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not finished watching it, right? I, I think I'm about 10 episodes in. You know how they always have like 16 episodes, right? So this one is about this woman, right? I don't know their names, guys. Okay, give me a chance. Give me a chance. It's a K drama, okay? But this woman, right, who grows up so incredibly painfully. She gets bullied at school. She goes through the absolute most. And there's this group of friends who are consistently bullying her. And when I'm talking about bullying, like, there's a trigger warning, okay? These are hectic things that they do to her. And she grows up. And when she grows up, her, her mission in life is to get them all back one by one. One by one. Ha! Hey, it's good. It's so entertaining. Um, K dramas just always have that effect, right? They're really, really entertaining. Whether it's the lovey dovey ones or whether it's the more darker ones like The Glory. The Glory is not um, those lovey dovey K dramas. If you're into that kind of thing, it's, it's not that. It's not that. But it is so good. It's so entertaining. And watching her you know, getting them back for what they did to her in school. Man, I, I, man, I'm just like, yes, get them back, Miss Mamas. Yes, do that, do that. Another one is Bojack Horseman. Now, I don't know if I, I have spoken about Bojack Horseman before. I probably have, but I love it. Bojack Horseman comes from the same stable of uh, 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 creators that did Big Mouth and that did... Um, 
Rick and Morty as well. So if you enjoy those, you will absolutely love Bojack Horse. It's sarcastic, it's dark, it's punchy, it's just excellent. It's so, so smart. The jokes are really, really smart. I absolutely love Bojack Horseman. It's one of my favorite, favorite shows on Netflix. And it follows Bojack, who is this washed out, like, big time Hollywood celebrity, right? He used to be famous back then. He isn't now. He's scrambling to get jobs. He's still quite wealthy, but at the same time, an alcoholic and just going through the absolute most and a dark, dark gent, but so, so funny. And there are parts of him that are actually just so really good. Ah, I absolutely loved it. I loved it. It's so, 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 so good. And I highly recommend it, especially if you're an animation lover and especially if you love sarcasm, because I'm typically quite sarcastic. You don't see it much in my videos, but people who know me know how sarcastic I am. And it's funny. It's absolutely very smart and very, very funny. So definitely check out Bojack Horseman. So good, so good. And another one that I watched, I think this one is set either in the Netherlands or one of the... Scandinavian countries if I'm not mistaken it's called muted and it is listen it's not in English but of course there's there's you you can hear the subtitles but also you can hear you can see that they're not speaking in English you know what I'm saying that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying um but it's so good it's about this kid I'm not even going to give you the full synopsis because this one I think you need to watch it to actually enjoy it it's actually quite dark me I love dark programs it's my thing I love dark documentaries. I like crime thrillers. I, it's just a thing. So it's about this kid who offs, you know what I'm saying? Who offs his mom and his dad. Like literally pushes them off a balcony. Pushes them off a balcony, but his sister's in the same house, but he doesn't do anything to his sister. So of course he, he gets taken into a juvenile mental detention kind of thing. And then after a couple of years, he's released, but they keep an eye on him to actually try and understand why, why did he actually do that? Why does a kid just wake up one day and literally go the F off on his parents? Because he doesn't just only push them out, man. He does some things, okay? And it is so, so good. Whoo! The storyline is incredible. And once you start to understand why he did it, you know, you get to this point where, where you get it, but you don't get it, but you get it, but you don't get it. You know what I'm saying? And it's actually so, so, so good. I highly, highly recommend you check out Muted. And it's those... Um, it's only got a couple of episodes, maybe like six or eight. I don't quite remember, but it's... And then, of course, I mean, we're not going to not talk about Shonda. Come on. Queen Charlotte is by far my favorite of the Bridgerton series, and I loved it. It is smart. It talks about um, love, challenges, the dynamics of being queen, and all of that. Sorrows, sorrows, prayers, prayers, sorrows. Sorry, sorry. Um, I absolutely love Queen Charlotte and I love Lady Danbury. Love the friendship that is, um, you know, that, that is celebrated between the two of them in the series. Absolutely loved it. At her core, so good, but strong and fiery and fierce. And to be a queen, I suppose you have to be, you know what I'm saying? But it is so, so good, so enjoyable. And for me, it touched on a lot of subjects that uh, don't get really spoken about, you know what I'm saying? Especially for that time and that time period. And I absolutely loved it. I thought it was sorrow, sorrows, prayers, excellent, exceptional. So, so good, so, so good. Another one that I just could not, I can't stop watching it. I'm not finished because there's like a million seasons of it is The Walking Dead. Now, I know I'm probably very much late to The Walking Dead, but my goodness, Rick and, and, and Glenn and, and Maddie and oh my gosh, the zombies, the gore, the, if you like, like horrors and thrillers, it really isn't that bad. Negan, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I absolutely love The Walking Dead. I have been binge watching it. Uh, Diesel was the one who recommended that I watch it and I started watching it with him. And my goodness, 
my goodness, it's so good. I haven't even finished it because it's got like 13 seasons and each episode is like an hour long. But but I, I think I'm a, a... Nah, man. It's got about 15 seasons. I think I'm about nine seasons in. And it is... Oh, oh my gosh. It's so, so good. I highly recommend The Walking Dead. Highly, highly recommend it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Of course, because I'm with someone who enjoys... Uh, what is this? Anime... I have recently gotten myself into anime and my goodness, okay, I'm still new to it. So, hey man, I don't have much to say, but anime is great. The storylines, um, the found friendships, the family dynamics, the, 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 you know, growing and learning more about yourself and becoming stronger and dealing with things. Listen. Hunter Hunter, mm. the Devil Man, mm. Demon Slayer, are you kidding me? Demon Slayer is by far my favorite. It's by far my favorite. It is so, so good. I really enjoy them. Uh, what else am I missing here? Seven? Seven was just hilarious. It was just hilarious. It's so good. House Husband is really good as well. So I highly recommend that you try and get into anime, especially if you love... Uh, just you know animated series but of course anime is not for children so uh they it, it uh like devil man there's there's a whole lot of boob action going on there and 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 striptease and all that kind of thing so definitely not for kids but oh my gosh i enjoyed those ones so so much and i highly 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 recommend that you watch them. another one that i enjoyed is obsession now this is an english uh, series and I think it's a it's one of those um, four four episode five episode uh, series and it's intense. I think it's rated eighteen because there's a lot of things that happen in the other one. <laughs> okay, that uh, children should not see. But it's essentially about this uh, man who develops a very obsessive connection to his son's girlfriend. Yes, yes. Things happen with his son and his son introduces this woman and says, listen, dad, dad, I've met a woman. I love her. I'm about her and I want you to meet her. And he loses his shucks when he meets this woman and it's actually reciprocated. So it's not just them you know, it's not just him feeling the way he feels about her. She responds and it's actually reciprocated. And the things that happen and how he loses himself to this woman and the things that she makes him do and what ends up happening is just... Whew. This is a show definitely for grown-ups. It's mature content, but the dialogue, what is discussed... Um, just the grayness of, 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 of relationships sometimes, parental relationships and also love relationships with partners. It is quite interesting. There's a scene, if you've seen this series, there's a scene, let me know down below, there's a scene where he walks into their hotel room. The father walks into their hotel room after they have checked out and he does some things. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Good. Um, a movie that I can highly recommend if you want to sob, if you want to cry so, so much that you just don't know what to do with yourself, Miracle in Cell 7. I'm not going to say nothing else. Miracle in Cell 7. That's it. I rewatched it. I think I've watched it three times already. And what a wow. What a wow. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Um, Jelaine Maxwell, Filthy Rich. Now, if you have been following the Jeffrey Epstein story, you will know that Jelaine uh, Maxwell was his partner. And this is also another docky that follows her side in terms of all the atrocities that she and Jeffrey Epstein committed and how she was pretty much the PIMP. Okay, in terms of all the young girls that she would source for Jeffrey Epstein. So she came from the upper echelon of the New York streets, became Jeffrey Epstein's partner. But then the things that they ended up doing and trafficking of young women and all of that. So now in this one, you follow the side of Ghislaine, Ghislaine Maxwell, and uh, you get to see 
what a wild, wild woman this is. Uh, just wild, okay? Um, and if you really enjoyed the, the Epstein docuseries on Netflix, you really will want to watch the Ghislaine Maxwell one because then you can kind of uh, get to understand how they had this sordid relationship where all this all this funky stuff was happening also really good and then another one that i enjoyed also a mini docuseries based on true events is the murder of murders oh my gosh let me tell you this one literally explores wealth richness power dynamics um, as to what can happen when you are from a wealthy family and you do something wrong and what your family will do to protect you. This follows this family, the, mur the murder family, and they, their son. Basically, the central focus is on the son who is Paul Murdoch, and he has this group of friends. A boating accident happens. Um, someone dies and you watch it unfold because he comes from this wealthy family who's got a very legal background and most of the family members are lawyers and attorneys and what they did to try and cover up the fact that paul was the one at fault here and all of that it's just it'll blow you away it's so 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 good it's very unfortunate that it's based on true events and the people that do feature in this docuseries are the people that were involved in all of this and uh then you start to get to see a little bit about paul's father alex murdo and what he has done man people who have money man when you have money you can man Another one that I absolutely love is Intergalactic. Oh my gosh. If you want to celebrate black love, but actually watch it in the in the sphere of a little bit of animation. If you're somebody who watched Spider-Man like uh, um, the Miles, Miles version of Spider-Man, this one is pretty much designed in the same way, but it follows this young couple who meet and they live in the same building and uh, they see each other in and around and then eventually they develop a relationship and it's just wonderful. It's for grown-ups as well. It's not for kids because there's the, some things that happen in there. Um, but it's so good. It celebrates black love. It celebrates, um, you know, the, 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 the love that black people have for music and good food and how we attach certain memories to music, food, and oh man, it is so good. It is so good. It's a movie. It is so, so good. Highly recommend that you watch that. So, so good. And of course, Wednesday. Come on now. Come on now. Do we need to even talk about how awesome Wednesday is? It's so, so good. I'm sure a lot of you watching this right now have probably watched Wednesday. I absolutely loved it. Highly recommend it if you enjoyed the Adams Family growing up, which I absolutely did. Wednesday is fantastic. Wednesday is me in a nutshell. She loves to wear black. She is extremely sarcastic. Okay, I feel like Wednesday is, is a little bit smarter than me, but hey, hey. I'm, I'm smart too, okay, Wednesday, um, and it's just, it's just great, man, it's really, really great entertainment. You is always a series that I'm going to mention, you with Jonathan, with Mr. Joe, absolutely love it so much, the third season is one that I really thoroughly enjoyed i loved it loved it loved it and uh i think there's there's not much more that i'd need to say with regards to you because it really is that good and if you've enjoyed you the first season you're gonna enjoy the second one and the third one so so good so so good um yeah i think that's pretty much all i can think of currently at this here juncture really 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 loved these love them so much highly recommend that you watch them i hope you enjoyed this video what are you currently watching on netflix i really would love to know because i'm looking for something new to watch and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please like the video please watch the ads please subscribe to the channel i really do appreciate that you are here and you're consistently supporting me and my work online on the red app and everywhere else 
Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. But I'm going to go now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your heart and your mind. And I'll see you very, very soon. Until then, sayonara.